Cole's villager VLLR, a mysteriously glitched villager capable of changing the weather and deleting entire world saves. That's why in this video, I'll tell you how I discovered the story behind this weird mob and how it took me down a rabbit hole of its very own. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on, as I would hate for you to miss out on any future uploads. Let's begin. It's summer, the sun's out, but I'm inside scrolling through a Minecraft forum. <laughs> yeah, that probably says more about my life. But this wasn't just any Minecraft forum. This forum contained a weirdly named post titled Minecraft Secret Glitched Mob. Now, considering that I'm pretty used to investigating random Minecraft entities, extinct mobs, along with the odd hidden or forgotten parts of Minecraft, the title didn't exactly stick out to me. But yet, my curiosity took the better of me. I opened the post in an extra tab, and what loaded up was extraordinary. The user had attached an image of an odd-looking villager, with a cold, ghost-like appearance, completely blacked out eyes, claiming this mob had been seen in version 1.10, a version that so happens to introduce the teleport command. Can this mob teleport? That would be a question that would have to be answered later. Because at this point, I was so intrigued, it was time to open the post. Let me read it to you. My name is Luca, and I decided to play Minecraft with my friend. It's good to know I had changed the game mode to survival, and considering this was a year ago, I don't quite remember what seed I put in. But whatever it was, it included a village right near spawn. However, at one point, when we were walking back to our freshly crafted house, that the time suddenly changed to day. My friend thought I was messing with commands again, but I assured him I hadn't stopped once, not even to check if my wolves were still following me, let alone type something in chat. In fact, it reminded me that I had previously turned off in-game chat to begin with and decided to turn it back on again. And after doing so, there was a message, a weird one to say the least, that popped up. VLRR has changed the time. But wait, who's VLLR? My gamer tag didn't begin with a V and neither did my friends. And considering we were on a private server, there was no possible way that another player could have joined. I frantically tried to explain this all to my friend, but he wasn't buying any of it, even telling me he couldn't see any stupid message anyway, which shocked me even more. Who or what was this VLLR message and why didn't it appear for my friend? Was it maybe a server error? Or was there something I was missing? Either way, this VLLR thing was really starting to bother me. So I simply typed in chat, who is VLLR? Of course, not expecting an answer, I continued to keep playing. But then, out of nowhere, another message pops up. Now this message was unreadable. Was it some sort of secret message? Or was it a language? I quickly brought up a translator and copy and pasted the exact words. But there was one problem. I had no idea which language to go with until the translator popped up with a suggestion. Translate from Bulgarian. I hit translate and what came back was super weird. Why would an entity or whatever this thing is be asking me if I have a drink, let alone in Bulgarian? I quickly replied, why would I have a drink? Only to be answered with more gibberish. Only this time, the translation didn't even work. What exactly was this thing talking in? Now, while I was dealing with this weird encounter, my friend still had no idea what was going on, as he couldn't see a single message in chat, leaving him out of this entirely. That was until I asked him to type a question. VLLR, what language are you speaking? And without even time to breathe, VLLR had answered back. But this time, for some reason, in English, allowing my friend to finally see his messages. But this one gave us a clue. Three letters back. I thought to myself, three letters back? This wasn't a language, but a code. I grabbed the nearest piece of paper, planning on translating the text he wrote, but before I could even begin, a different type of message popped up on screen. Wait, did VLLR or whatever this thing was just teleport my friend? He had, and within seconds, another message had popped up in chat. VLLR had banned my friend. At this point, I'm thinking this was my friend's prank after all, and that surely he was about to create a great reveal for his joke, since there was no way this thing was real. Why would it ban someone? And then I was teleported. I tried moving my player, but I couldn't move, stuck in one position, staring at what I now know was a glitched entity. A glitched version of a mob that made my screen go black blue and then crash my game. I later checked the world save, in chance of maybe being able to see this weird entity again, but the save had completely been reset. The story ends there, but I'm wondering, what was the code that VLLR was talking in, and could I figure it out for myself? Clearly, it was some type of secret message sequence, but I had to figure out where it came from to know how it worked. And lucky enough, despite the story having its flaws, it somehow managed to leave enough clues for me to start investigating, with our biggest clue being the message that I actually understood. Three letters back. This was clearly my way deep into the mystery. I opened Google and searched three letters back code, and what came back was ridiculously interesting. You see, the secret message combination is actually called a Caesar cipher, a method of encrypting a message by having the letters in the alphabet all move three letters back meaning the letter Y would be a B and I would be an L. I'm sure you get the idea. 
So by taking the messages VLLR had left us, I grabbed a piece of paper and finally translated what was said to Luca when he had asked who VLLR was. And the truth was another question. It felt a little creepy deciphering the message only to get another question, but it made sense considering what had happened right after the message was sent. But if the VLLR's only answer to Lucas's question was to teleport and make an example out of his friend, it left me wondering how possible was it for a villager to teleport? After all, the only mobs we know of to be capable of such powers are the Enderman and the Endermite. And since the glitches and bugs don't fit within the law of Minecraft, what actually was this thing? I thought to myself, if I'm going to get any sort of clues about this weird VLLR entity, my best shot at it was to search for a backstory that could help point me in the right direction. So I got searching, and after some scrolling, I finally had found something. VLLR is rumoured to have been an entity capable of taking the form of other random mobs in an attempt to get closer to Steve and players alike, supposedly appearing in only certain Minecraft seats, and of course only in version 1.10. But for what reason? That would be left unknown, along with the name VLLR, as even with our new Caesar cipher discovery, it still left us empty handed. Perhaps I was looking into it too deep, and VLLR simply stood out as an abbreviation for villager, but why the space in between the L and the R? Was there a secret meaning in there? I had no clue. Although one thing is certain, VLLR's main goal is to get rid of you when you stumble on his world, almost as if it's hiding something or even possibly protecting you from it, which made me curious about the possibility of summoning VLLR, as some players claimed it was possible whilst others were pointing fingers to specific world seeds, which I actually decided to play on and to save you some time, there was no sight of this mysterious mob at all. Now I know what you're thinking, Kunai, this entire thing could be fake, so why feed into it? But in that case, subscribe, pack your things, we're all going home. Just kidding. Let's look at this logically. My first and only logical explanation that I can come up with is that this weird VLLR sighting is some sort of glitch or virus. However, I think the chances are higher for it to be a virus, as the story tells us it managed to wipe out an entire world save. On top of that, it managed to operate the commands within the server, and even reply to interactions within the chat, which, logically speaking, can be easily programmed into a mod or a similar virus. Although, if VLLR was a glitch, our only real evidence would be its changing appearance, as even the teleporting seems like it suits the virus better than the glitch, as it's easier to code. However, its mysterious appearance genuinely seems intentional, as if it was designed and wasn't implemented by accident. At the end of the day, VLLR leaves me confused, wondering what it is or what it could be. Is it a mysterious mob or a virus or purely a Minecraft tale? I'll never know, but I'm curious to hear what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, check out the video on screen, where I tell the story and theory behind Minecraft's Warden.